In the previous lecture, we discussed the motion of an electric charge within a uniform magnetic field. So we essentially said that if the uniform magnetic field is perpendicular with respect to the velocity of our electric charge, that electric charge will follow a circular pathway that is the magnetic force that will act on our electric charge as a result of our magnetic field will create centripetal acceleration so our electric charge will follow the following cyclical pathway. Now, let's explore and answer the following question. What exactly is the time required in seconds for our charged electric charge moving with a constant speed v in a uniform magnetic field that acts perpendicularly with respect to the motion to make one full revolution about the following pathway. So that is commonly known as the period. The period gives us the time in seconds that it takes our object to make one full revolution. Now the period is given by the total distance traveled around the circular pathway divided by our velocity. So t, the period, is equal to the total distance around this pathway divided by the velocity and that gives us the time in seconds. So we know in this particular case if the radius of this circumscribed circular pathway is given by lowercase r then this distance is simply the circumference of our pathway. So this total distance is 2 pi r divided by the velocity of our electric charge. Now in the previous lecture we saw that the velocity of an electric charge that is moving in a uniform magnetic field in which the magnetic field is perpendicular to the velocity is given by this equation. So the velocity is equal to QRB divided by M where Q is the charge, R is the radius, B is the magnetic field and M is the mass of our electric charge. So we can take this equation and replace the velocity with this ratio. We get the following result. Notice the R's will cancel and this M will go on top and we see that the period is equal to 2 pi M divided by Q multiplied by B. So this gives us the period that is, it gives us the time in seconds it takes our electric charge to make one full cycle, to make one full circular revolution around the following pathway. Now the frequency is defined as the number of revolutions our electric charge makes every single second and to find the frequency we take one and divide it by our period. So the frequency is equal to one divided by t and since t is equal to this which is equal to this we can take this and plug it to the bottom we get this the qb goes on top so the frequency also known as the cyclotron frequency is qb divided by 2 pi m where q is the quantity of charge B is our uniform magnetic field, 2 pi is a constant, and M is the mass of our electric charge. So let's look at the following example in which we're going to calculate the cyclotron frequency. So, an electron is moving in a constant magnetic field in which the magnetic field is perpendicular to the velocity of our electric charge. Now the velocity of our charge is given by 2 times 10 to the 7 meters per second. Find the cyclotron frequency if our magnetic field is 0 0.01 teslas. So we just simply take this equation, we plug in our values, so we know that our charge is 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 coulombs, we know our magnetic field is 0 0.01 teslas, and we know our mass is 9.11 times 10 to negative 31 kilograms. We plug that into our calculator and we find that our cyclotron frequency is 2.8 times 10 to the 8 revolutions per second. So every single second our electron makes this many revolutions around the following circular pathway.